Yeah, so uh -huh. NOS was another story. Uh -huh. I mean, the um, boy. I mean, we had the boys at uh, Gilgit mm -hmm. and the girls at Naivasha. Yes. And um, we all slept in barracks. Yes. I remember my barrack was called Kiboko. Kiboko. Uh -huh. <laughs> Kiboko. Kiboko. Mm -hmm. And so it was a shock experience. You know, you once we enter the gate like that, mm -hmm. the first thing that they, you are here, or you know, oh, your so cut up. is all cut up. Yeah. And uh, and then you you know you're given uniform, mm -hmm. and then you begin getting duties. Mm -hmm. So some of the duties would be, uh, like you're the guard. You're you know you have to guard. Mm -hmm. You have somebody at the guard mm -hmm. every night. Mm -hmm. Then they'll teach you how to march, mm -hmm. and then how to polish your shoes. Mm -hmm. The polishing of sho your shoes was such that you could see your face on the mat. Hey. <laughs> Speak span. Yes. Uh -huh. So then, what you do have to do is that uh, you get your boat, right? And then you melt the polish, and then you get a piece of cloth, and then you begin rubbing. Until you rub the boat shines. until you can see your face. Oh. Yeah. And that's a requirement. It's a requirement, and I think part of it was just the discipline. Mm. Some thing that you look back, you know, you plant flowers in the, in the evening, mm. or put in the morning, mm. and then you're wondering what is all this foolishness about. Mm -hmm. But I think the whole essence was there to teach us um, you follow and obey instructions not because it makes sense, but because of the personal issues and instructions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not for you to debate or question or come up with why, why am I being given this order? Wow. Just do it. And you do that for a whole, a whole year? Yeah, we did that, I think, for three months. Three months. There were many disciplines, so like when uh, the whole camp is a discipline. Mm -hmm. I remember once we had to run, we were told to run from Gilgit mm. to like Elementator mm. and get water in a bottle and then run back. That's like 18 kilometers. That, that's just, I mean, there were crazy punishments like those. So that what happens. <laughs> I mean, you get. <laughs> so you, uh, you just learn to follow instructions. <laughs> Oh dear! Oh yeah. It I, does. Do you think uh, NYS still does the same level of? Uh, is is it still that way at NYS right now? Yeah, but I don't think now they no, they no longer take the university students. But the normal NYS, I think, they still have that count. Wait, you 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 did NYS before you went to campus, or yes, for us was a requirement. Oh, to go to university. Okay, you have to go through NYS for. And you, you say for how long? Three, three months. months. Oh, three months. Mm -hmm. So three months in ten. Uh, yes. Yours was at Gibeon. Yes. All right. Girls were. But the most exciting part was that you know what? So you do the boys in Gilgil, mm -hmm. the girls in Naivasha. Mm -hmm. And then after that, the girls are brought to Gilgil oh, because yeah. then you're preparing for passant. Uh -huh. I'm telling you, girls have never looked so beautiful. <laughs> Because you haven't been seeing them at you all. You can't imagine what does it for not seeing a girl for three months. Everybody, got, you know, sometimes you'll have to go to the to the um, the hospital facility because you're sick. Yeah. Many of us got sick that you can just you are hoping you're gonna just see a girl. Yeah. It's ah. been it's been a whole it's been a whole I mean, yeah. sausage fest <laughs> for a, for a while. <laughs> It's like another boarding school. Yeah, it uh, is. And now it's it's a lot more intense. Yeah. Are you learning any other thing other than uh, marching? Busy? Yeah, other than marching. And... It was primarily a uh, discipline of marching mm -hmm. because, you know, and yeah, because you're marching, you're mm -hmm. using the Wiko. The, um, the mm -hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. they don't have actual guns. Yeah. So yeah. it's all around now. What do you think this generation is lacking uh, in terms of the people who are living in high school and mm. uh, going into campus that that generation had then uh, by virtue of passing through that? What what one or two attributes do you think were yeah. very important? There's the one that you said, you know, just being given the discipline mm. and, uh, you know, obey for yeah. by virtue of just obedience. What yeah. else do you think is an important lesson that you got? Yeah. Um, by virtue of passing through NYS. and what? Well, so one is a discipline. Mm -hmm. The second <coughs> one is organization. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, by the time you learn how to to march and pass out, yeah, they really have to be precision. Right. 
the key word I always remember is, you know, when you're told attention, mm. you know, you are told in a pigia kisigino. And uh, if you're not synchronized, mm. it sounds like the rain. Mm. And they tell you that's my topic. It has to be <laughs> You know, so precision. Yeah. You know, you're taught precision in every single thing. Mm. I think the other thing is uh, perseverance. Mm. I remember, you know, Griffin, mm. who was my director at Stare, mm. was also the director at NOS. Oh, yes. Oh, that's insightful, all right. So, mm. he, he started at NOS at Stare. Mm. And uh, he had mm. uh, a portion of time so that in the morning we'd be at Stare, in the afternoon we'd be at uh, NOS. Would love to know more about him. Yeah. Mm. So, I remember when he came to NYS, so we all grumbling, and of course, us being uh, yeah. former students, mm. we felt with a special sort mm. of, uh, mm. you know, mm. <laughs> for you to go complain. Mm. So in this end, and then he said, you know, my boys, you'll be surprised at how much you can be able, your body can be able to tolerate and take. You can persevere more than what you mm. think you are. And so, you know, the fact that, um, you know, you go to sleep, and then uh, you'll be waking up at three in the morning. The planting of the flowers, by the way, was done during the day. That was like three in the morning. So you go to bed at 10, at three you're up again. If you're not the on guard, you're doing something else. And so our body was pushed to the limit. And so when I see a lot of young people, many times I feel they give up very easily. Mm. They give up very easily. Their lack of perseverance mm. is not as strong as should be. Mm. And while I know that they can be able to persevere this much, mm. many times I feel, you know, uh, they only live up to 20% of their life, mm. and then if you push them a little bit, mm. then they sort of give up. Mm. Yeah, mm. they're easy to break. Mm. So that is something that uh, mm. I think you need to be mm. sort of, even when you see, you know, the reason why kids are burning schools and so forth, mm. in as much as you hear them, mm you feel like they have a wrong perception mm. of what, uh, how much they can mm. Yeah. Mm. Interesting, interesting. And we'll, 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 um, we'll keep sharing some of these insights as we, mm. as we continue. Yeah. So let's now move to after NYS. What happens? Mm.